Breaking news, my wonderful people. Hmm, something terrible has just taken place please guys the insecurity crisis going on in the southeast region of nigeria is getting out of hands it's really getting out of hands now look at what has happened gunmen beheads emo local government chairman after collecting six million ransom this is happening guys hmm now wow Let's quickly hit the news to get the full details. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you all for always coming out here. May God bless you all. The gunmen who claimed that there would be no 2023 election in the Southeast region on Monday beheaded the sole administrator, Solan, of a to North local government area of Imo State, Mr. Christopher. Oizu, who was kidnapped last Friday alongside two others as well as his house set ablaze. This was contained in a video that went viral on social media by the gunmen. The video showed a man they identified to be Christopher, whose hands were tied backwards and knelt in a thick forest, was putting only trousers and was filmed by the gunmen. My wonderful people, according to these gunmen, they called for hope. Governor Hope Uzodima, say hope, come on. Hope you are seeing this man kneeling down here. Hope you know this man. The way we are going to kill this man is the way we are going to kill you. So Hope Uzodima, you think hiring soldiers will save you, eh? Look, oh, we are not ESN, neither are we up, uh, IPO. We are a set of group of people that see what is happening in the land and we are saying no. We must fight to make sure that Biafra is restored. Biafra must be restored. As far as the eastern region is concerned, no election. Guys, this is indeed very, very serious. And now this threat, you know, is not coming from the ESN, neither is it coming from the IPO. Now, this set of this uh this uh, group of people have not been identified yet. They have not been identified. And they are also calling for Biafra as they beheaded this local government chairman in Imo State after collecting six million naira ransom from him. They have burnt his house and they still end up killing him. My country people, nowhere is safe. Oh. Nowhere is safe in this country. Nowhere is safe at all. Hmm. It should be recalled that the police said on 20th January 2023 at about 1 a.m. some gunmen number yet unknown attacked the home of sole administration administrator of Adam Soland of Idiaito North local government area of Imo State, Mr. Christopher Oizu, shot him on his leg. Shot his two security dogs, burned his house, adopted him and two others, one Christopher Okeke and Onye Dikachi Kano, after which they drove away to an unknown destination with one of the Solan's vehicle. Operatives of Imo State Police Command, including the APC crew, were on trial to ensure the instantaneous release of the captives. Possible apprehension and persecution of the perpetrators of this dreadful crime, the police said. At the time of filing this report, the police public relations officer, Henry O.K., was yet to respond to the incident. Guys, this is happening. Now, after this local government chairman's house had been burned down, adopted him and two others, they shot him on his leg, shot his security dogs, and drove him away to an unknown destination. Now, these guys have demanded for ransom. After collecting a whooping sum of six million naira, they still end up killing and beheading this man. God, Hopu Zodima should stand out for what is happening to his people. He should come and explain what is happening to his people because those uh, unidentified um, gunmen were calling for Hope Uzodima. I don't know what those gunmen have with Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State, but then 
Hopus Adima should be held responsible of the insecurities going on in the region because it seems that there is no lasting solution to it. There have not been any solution to the insecurities going on in Imo State. My country people, make one choke mouth for this matter. I'm dropping 